Hello again, everyone. Again, fourth time recording this. This is Forte of the Dragon Mod, and what you need to do to install the actual mod itself. Now, first things first, you don't want to worry about this. This downgrade your game. Your Katana Zero, as of this date, is version 1.0.5, so you don't need to worry about downgrading. Um, what you do need to worry about is the fact that Katana Zero acts a little weird with the Steam Cloud, so you want to go to Updates in your Katana Zero properties on Steam. You want to disable it just so it doesn't auto-update and ruin your mod. So, with that out of the way, uh, the main loot of the mod is pressing, is going to the .rar that you downloaded from the various sites that we've linked, and most importantly, taking your data.win from your Katana Zero Steam Library section, and you want to drag that over to a new file, or a new folder, and you want to take the .utp patch under patches or patch in the dragon.rar and put it under a new f new folder it doesn't matter what you call it it's just for organization purposes and what you'll do with this and now with the copy over whatever, you don't need to do this but it's good for organization's sake I'll name this data and patched now with that out of the way we can go off to our utpatcher.exe what this program does is that it allows us to patch Game Maker 2 games. So what we'll do is we take the data.win that we put in our new folder and apply our .utp patch. You want to press apply patch to do this. And then we're going to name our new data.win data patched. It doesn't matter what you name it. Uh, make sure it just goes to a similar folder. And you'll wait. Success, perfect. And what the success means is that you successfully patched your data.win with the new files that are included with the mod. So you have it right here, data patched. And what you do with this new dot, uh, dot data is you're going to go back to your Steam files for Katana Zero. And you're going to copy this in. And what you'll do is delete your old data.win that you copied over earlier. And take your new one that's patched and rename it data. What this will do is it'll make the game think that it's just the default like data. And you can't have two, otherwise the game will break. So don't do that. Uh, next step, of course, with the Katana Zero Steam folder is to go back to our WinRAR. And we're going to go back and see, look, if you look at files, we're going to copy over everything here and just replace them. And once you've done that, you should have a working Katana Zero. Uh, with the Dragon Mod. All, you, all I've done with the copied files is new songs for the game as well as a new splash art, but it's pretty important overall for the EXE because it also transfers the stored new dialogue, and you're going to want that. The data is for all the art, and with those copied over and patched applied, we're going to launch the game, and you know if you install it correctly if you have this splash, and it'll show up on screen in a second where the game is complete. And if you have this menu, you've successfully installed the mod. I hope you guys enjoy it, and Merry Christmas to everybody.